some prayer points regarding the enemies of our soul, the enemies of our destiny. Um, and of course, I always put the footnote. We don't pray against people. We pray against spirits. And we pray for the person's deliverance at the same time. But the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And it is the word of God that we speak out of our mouths that it either creates or recreates. So as we speak the word of God um, and we use our faith and put action to it, the angels of the Lord hearken unto the voice of the, of the Lord God. So as we speak his word, we are speaking as God would speak and the angels go forth. So tonight we're going to deal with enemies. First of all, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over my life from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over each and every person that this will reach, Lord God. Father, I ask, Lord God, that in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you would forgive us of our sins and we repent now in Jesus' name. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ over our lives, over our minds, over our marriages, and we bind the spirit of retaliation now in Jesus' name. In fact, Lord God, we put a wall of fire around each and every household that is represented right now tonight in Jesus' name. Father, according to Exodus 23 and 27, I will make the people who oppose you afraid of me. I will bring confusion among the people against whom you fight, and I will make all your enemies turn and run from you. Psalm 6 and 10, my enemies will know the bitter shame of defeat and sudden confusion. They will be driven away. Psalm 9, 3, my enemies turn back when you appear. They fall down and die in Jesus name. We know that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. According to Psalm 40, verses 14 through 15, may those who try to destroy me be humiliated and put to shame. May those who take delight in our trouble be turned back in disgrace. Psalm 69, 23, let their eyes go blind so they cannot see and let their bodies grow weaker and weaker in Jesus name. Psalm 70, may those who try to destroy us be humiliated and put to shame. Let them be horrified by their own shame. Psalm 109 verse 20, may those curses become the Lord's punishment for my accusers who are plotting against my life. Verse 29, make their humiliation obvious to all. Clothe my accusers with disgrace. Psalm 110, sit in honor at my right hand until I humble all your enemies, making them a footstool under your feet. Psalm 140, rescue me from evil people, Lord. Me out of the hands of the wicked. Do not let their evil schemes succeed. Let my enemies be destroyed by the very evil they have planted for me. Let the burning coals fall down on their heads throw them into pits from which they can escape in Jesus name. Father Proverbs 10 verse 30, but the wicked will be removed from the land and verse 31, the tongue that deceives will be cut off in Jesus name. Psalms 11 6, Lord, you rain down blazing coals on the wicked, punishing them with burning sulfur and scorching winds. Those who do right will see his face. Father, we thank you for your word. In Jesus' name, amen.